Seventh grade math, lesson 1.1a, modeling sums of integers with the same sign. Back in the beginning of sixth grade, we were introduced to integers. Negative and positive whole numbers are called integers, and it's easier to use one word than five words. Can you imagine if we had to say negative and positive whole numbers every time we were talking about integers? We can use colored counters to add positive integers and to add negative integers. We can use one color, like yellow, for positive and another color, like red, for negatives. And notice the positive number doesn't have that plus sign in front of it. We just wrote a one. But negative numbers will always have a negative sign. We can model with two color counters. We have a positive 2 plus a positive 3, so we're going to use the yellow for positive. We have two positive counters and three positive counters. The total number of counters, there are five, five counters in total. We found the sum by finding the total number of positive counters. Here we have both add-ends are negative numbers. We have a negative 4 plus a negative 2. And notice that this negative 2 is inside parentheses, and the parentheses are used to separate the addition symbol from the negative integer. We have four negative counters for negative 4 and two negative counters for the negative 2. We total the number of counters. There's six. There are six counters in total, and since the counters are negative integers, the sum is negative 6. When we add like signs, the sum will be like the add-ins. If we're adding a positive number and a positive number, well, then the sum is going to be a positive number. If we're adding a negative number and a negative number, then the sum will be a negative number. Here we have a positive 1 plus a positive 5. We have a positive 6. Both add-ins are positive integers, so the sum is positive. Here we have a negative 2 plus a negative 1. Our sum is negative 3. Both add-ins are negative integers, so the sum is negative. If we're adding like signs, a negative to a negative, well, then the sum is going to be negative. If we're adding a positive to a positive as the add-ins, then the sum will be positive. The color of the counter represents the sign of the integer. We have five negative counters. It's equal to negative five. We have two positive counters. It is equal to positive two. Here, the add-ins are a positive 3 plus a positive 1. We have three positive counters and one positive counter. It's equal to 4, a positive 4. Here we have negative 3 plus a negative 1. We have four negatives. It's a negative 4. We can make our own counters. We can use any color counters we want, as long as we assign one color for positive and one color for negative. If you want to make your own, you can just put plus signs for the positive counters and minus signs for the negative counters. So try to remember that integers are negative and positive whole numbers. And remember that zero is an integer too. Our next lesson, 1.1b, is adding on a number line. Now you can model adding like signs by making your own counters. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.